This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App, Canvas Painter, Puzzle 17, Making Spray Paint. Oh, cool. The next effect we would like to create is a spray paint effect. Uh, keep in mind, I have a bunch of stuff here. If you don't have all this, you need to go do the other parts of this lesson. Uh, and I have tutorials on those if you're stuck. All right. Inside... Instead of drawing a single dot for every location stored in event list, which is our array of event objects, right? It's the data that we're storing in an array when we move the mouse around. We'll draw many small dots randomly placed around each location. That's super cool. We are going to start off just practicing drawing a circle, drawing a circle whose x, y locations use offset x and f offset y with a small random value added. This makes the line of code to draw a circle kind of long, but hopefully it's easy to understand. Okay, they're just adding a random number, negative 3 to 3. So negative 3 would subtract from x, or 3 would add to x, or 2, or negative 2, whatever the random number is each time it runs. Yes, okay, do this. Set the style of another button in design mode. Give it a label like spray paint. Oh, okay, that we can do. Give it a descriptive ID and attach a click event handler to it. Copy the code from the original button into an event handler for spray paint. All right, design, click, spray paint button, spray paint. Okay, and then I'm going to make this kind of like they did theirs. Maybe, maybe something like that for spray paint. And now to make an event, I'm going to go here and click on events and then insert and show code. Okay. There we are. And where is it? Yep. Spray paints way down here. Okay. Copy the code from original. Copy. And I'm going to get rid of this console log. And then I'm going to paste. OK, so we copied it. Change the code for circle so that it will draw a dot whose x and y location use offset x, offset y with a small random value. OK, so we want to add to this. Because then instead of just being the offset, instead of just being x, y, uh, where the mouse was located for that particular event, it will change it a bit. So random number, negative 3, comma, 3 was their suggestion, and I will use it. And then since we're just going to do that again to y, I'm going to do copy. And then over here, I'm going to do paste. Great. Okay. Run the app. Okay. So here's it in block form what it looks like. Right? So event, offset, plus. And just a reminder, what's happening here is when I click down, on uh, when I click spray paint, what happens is the clam canvas is going to be cleared, and then we run a for loop all the way through event list.length. So however long our event list array is, what's in our event list array? Well, it's the events. So when we are drawing, we are appending to event list every event. Event is the parameter up here. What it really is is the X location, the Y location of the mouse, the is any keys down. It stores a bunch of information. So we're taking all of that data from every point when the mouse is, oh no, it's not mouse click, it's mouse move every time we move the mouse on the canvas and saving it to this big long list. We can then use that data to redraw the thing, right? Redraw whatever we draw in any way we want, such as this spray paint way, which is just going to move the paint away, around. And we loop through that array down here to redraw it and event list length. So we go to the very end of the array. We start at zero though, and we add one each time. We get the event list i, so that would be the first event, if it's zero, stored in our array, dot offset. And so that's the offset property of the event we stored there. And the offset x is going to be its x location. 
And there is one more thing I think we have to do. Let's see if I can show text. I can't even see it. Oh, there we go. Dot radius. So we want to get rid of this. Remember, we're changing the size. And instead of doing the dot radius function, which will keep make it the original size, the random size based on speed, we're going to make it a 1 like they are. Hopefully there's no errors in this. That's a whole long line of code. It looks all right. There. Let's give it a shot. Ta-da! And spray. Oh, wow, it is kind of hard to see. And I think we'll, I don't know, we'll add maybe more in the next one. So I'm going to reset and do it one more time. Oh, here's their example. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. So that was a bit tricky, but great. Let's keep going.